You know, it's interesting this morning at this showcase, ladies and gentlemen, that in terms of where we are, we've looked at an awful lot of talent up on stage. They're my colleagues, they're my friends, they're my associates. They're all bloody good at what they do. And really the reason you're here, I believe, is the reason I'm here, because of this chair. Because when you put your conference or your event together, what goes on on stage has got to inspire the people who fill these chairs. That's what we're privileged to do as professional speakers. The stuff that I like to talk about, how it's traveled me around the world, is really about getting those people on those chairs to understand that it's not about doing more of the same at work. You want a speaker at your conference to uplift your audience, to give them some meat, some content, some stuff they can use from the get-go. And it's not about doing what we've always done, the old strategies, the old charts, the old boring speakers lined up one after the other as the lights darken and the chairs go into a little bit of darkness. Have you noticed how the conference delegates always fill up from the back of the room first? Nobody wants to be caught up here in the headlights like a startled rabbit. They know that they've got conference fatigue and what we need to do is uplift them and change the way that we do things. Not just at our conferences or events, but in our daily businesses as well. We all get stuck in traffic and moan about it because we do the same thing day after day. We leave home, turning left or right out of our driveways, getting stuck in traffic, moaning about traffic. And what we have to realize while you're doing that is that we are the traffic that we're moaning about. We need new things, new systems, new ways to fire up the people who fill the chairs that you're sitting on right now that will take your business beyond gridlock and stalemate, beyond industrial revolution type thinking. The industrial revolution ran from 1760 to about 1970. Every one of our businesses in the room here today is geared on industrial revolution principles. And yet speaker after speaker has told you how things are changing. Well, how do we change the people that fill up your conference seats? Ryan Hogarth earlier this morning talked about a quote from Google. Innovation that used to take a generation, he said, is now taking weeks or months. Guess what? Since he said that this morning, that quote is irrelevant because Google is now known as the company called Alphabet. And while we've been busy in conference, they've been reinventing themselves. But so is everybody else, at least the successful ones. Because if you look at the Fortune 500 from 1956, living memory, this day 50 years ago, 88% of the companies that used to head up that list are today gone forever. They refused to change. They did the same old, same old. Going through the old industrial revolution way of thinking about capital and labor, command and control, bureaucracy, getting it all right with their hierarchies and their, le their leadership charts and their graphs and their diagrams, and they did it all. Today, of course, none of the industrial revolution rules are appropriate whatsoever. Today, it's about skills and knowledge, decentralization, networking, alliances, partnerships, the digital world that's customized. How do we bring that to the people who fill the chairs in your event? How do we change their minds, their thought processes? We need to get them to understand there's got to be a new recipe for success, a new way of thinking about business, because business is now a constant journey. We're all undertaking that journey and we all want to get to a great destination. We need to share with them that complexity is the enemy. Doing more of what they've always done is not gonna get you better results into the future. We need to talk about the fact that collaboration is everything, and we also need to explain that trust is paramount. There are new rules to the world of business. We need to think about it differently, we need to work it differently, we need to understand where it comes from. So my new keynote presentation, 38 countries, two and a half thousand conferences later, is about exactly that. It's to show the people who fill these chairs that they can find a new way to work. And we do so, ladies and gentlemen, by switching back on something that's been turned off for a long time, the human brain. I look forward to presenting at your next conference. Thank you very much indeed.